Good morning, folks. This is from the NOAA Environmental Visualization Laboratory. It's an animation of what you observers already know. Record-breaking Arctic ice melt, broken by a long way. Ringed seals can't catch a break. They don't need any more issues as their plight from last year still stings and lingers yet. When we reported the record ice melt, we tried to explain why this can have big weather effects. This article did it better than I could. Or maybe nature will just start showing you. The second 100 mile per hour windstorm in Alaska, this one hit 120. More quakes up in the Arctic as well, fourth day in a row there. Alaska took a 5.5 and a 5.2. The larger tremor registered as high as 6.0. This area is no stranger to quakes and without a six pointer, you might say this looks normal, but September has been interesting here. Amidst the quakes, Anna Krakatoa woke up, Vanuatu ramping up as well. Mount Gamalama erupted yesterday and we have two Philippine volcanoes waking up as well. The American subduction zone on the other side of the planet has taken a back seat. Checking Torcon, this is a large portion of the East Coast, very serious weather on your way right now. The same storm was west yesterday, setting rain records in Tennessee. Is it star water? Not this time, folks. We still got that tropical low in the Gulf of Mexico, and she's tossing moisture north at the U.S. even before coming ashore herself. Got another tropical low on the way as well. You can see it on the right here. Approaching the Eastern Caribbean and those warmer waters, the computer models agree only that it's not gonna turn out to sea. We have a date, September 25th. They expect the scientific data servers at Kakona to be back online. Can't come soon enough. Folks, it started as just one, but we now have half of the magnetic connections on the front side of the sun. The Earth footprint location has been moved to the front as well. Those backside connections are coming around eventually. The Earth-facing regions down south weaken significantly overnight. But let's look to the eastern limb. Big active region turning over the north here with clear bipolar magnetics, but let's also keep an eye down south to see what's coming behind it. About a week ago, while facing away from Earth, she fired this flare. It was a big one, so let's monitor as she appears. Last 24 hours of the sun, you can see the bright active regions, Earth becoming connected to that bright area just right of center on the south. The dark corona hole beneath that might be too far south to affect Earth, but the mid-sized hole on the equator is a near guaranteed impact of strong solar wind in two to four days. To the left of the hole, we see a thin dark filament of plasma suspended above the surface by magnetism and posing an eruption threat to Earth now. The end of September and beginning of October look to be a bit more active than now with no flares and no significantly large quakes in the last 11 days. I'll leave you with the solar north pole and plasma dancing in 304 angstroms. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.